Hello there, adventurers, and welcome to Wally DM. Today, our adventuring party find themselves locked in a basement, and a noxious gas is starting to fill the room. Now, this is a mad scientist's laboratory, and there is an unfinished flesh golem in there. Fortunately for them, there is a passcode. All they need to do is put in the four-digit combination, and they'll be able to escape. However, nobody knows it except for a brain that is located in a bucket that goes into the flesh golem. So, simply take the correct brain, put it in the flesh golem, and perhaps. Perhaps it'll let him out. Now this is a puzzle that you can find in the haunt and today we're pretty much going to build Frankenstein's monster. So in this puzzle our adventuring party enters a laboratory setup kind of like this. Now as they enter this laboratory this door is going to slam shut behind them and they're going to hear a childlike giggle on the other side of the door and as if someone is running away and back down the hall. Now, as, as the characters come in here, they're going to see this entire area starting to fill up with a green poisonous gas. Now, if they try to come back over here and try to open the door, they're not going to be able to do it. This door is too sturdy and it's not going to be able to be picked or opened by any means. Now, to the right of it is going to be a keypad with numbers one through nine and the characters are able to press four numbers before it resets. So they're able to determine that if a four digit code was pressed into the the keypad then it would probably open the door. Unfortunately at this time the characters do not have anything that would be able to tell them what that four digit password is. And in the book of the haunt and the series there is actually a 20 minute recommended timetable for this puzzle. So I'm going to actually set up my hourglass if I were to run this. Now this is a 10 minute one but this one will give us 10 minutes and then we'll have an extra 10 minutes and then if the players don't solve the puzzle by then then all of the characters are going to fall unconscious and they're going to to wake up in another location. So let's get with the puzzle. What's going on in this room? Well, there's two parts that are going to be very important. The first is this flesh golem over here. Now this flesh golem has an open skull, it is missing a brain, it is missing a hand, and it is missing a foot. Now if the characters are to come around here and search around the place, they're going to see a bucket full of hands, a bucket of feet, and a bucket of brains. And they're going to easily be able to determine that possibly one of each of these is going to go into the flesh golem. Now the other important item, let's say our druid comes over here and takes a look at the desk, then the druid is going to find a waxed scrap of paper that looks to have a diagram of a humanoid body. But along this diagram is going to be notes that are scribbled all over it. So let's take a look at these notes. The first we're going to see flesh golem at the top and then the notes read as follows. Not enough time to finish him. I do not want to die. In the other corner of this diagram, the door is locked. I am trapped. Gas is coming. Only he knew the code. Now his brain lies in the bucket for my flesh golem. And then there's another note that says, he will open it for me. And then the final note that is of importance, solving the formula will tell me which are the right body parts. And then there's an arrow that comes over to a formula that's labeled hands, feet, and brains. And it says three more body parts to complete him. So if the players haven't figured it out already, we can allow the characters to roll a DC 15 intelligence check and they'll be able to determine that the notes on here are referencing the poisonous gas that is in the room. And I would also allow them to figure out from the notes on the diagram that there is a brain in here that probably contains the code to unlock the door. And if they were to put this brain in the golem, then perhaps the golem will be able to open the door for them. As on the diagram it says, he will will open it for me. We also know that this brain in this bucket over here, or at least one of them, knows the code because of the line on the diagram that says, only he knew the code, now his brain lies in the bucket for my flesh golem. So again, what the characters are going to need to do in order to escape this door is they need to punch in a four digit code. There is no way for them to figure it out, but there is a brain in here, and if they put that brain into the flesh golem, give him a hand, give him a foot, then hopefully this flesh column will be able to help him out and have him get out of here. Now let's look at the diagram again because now we have to figure out the secret formula. Now the secret formula says 2738 
question mark for hands, 312 624 question mark for feet, 816 22 44 question mark for brains. Now, if our characters were to take a look in the bucket of hands, feet, and brains, they're going to see that there is four of each of those and they are all labeled with a number. Now, you can put as many as you want in there, but I thought four was a pretty good number. And it looks like we also need to turn our timer up as we only have 10 minutes left for the players to figure out the puzzle. Now, one of these numbers that I write is going to be correct. The rest of them I just made up and you can set those however you see fit. So let's start with the hands. We have four hands in there and the hands are going to be numbered one, four, five, and nine. The feet are going to be numbered nine, 12, 18, and 36. And finally, the brains are going to be labeled 28, 33, 50, and 61. So now our timer is still ticking. Now we have these sequences that end with a question mark and these question marks are going to be the body parts that are going to need to be attached. So one of these numbered hands, one of these numbered feet, and one of these numbered brains. So with everything that has been presented here with our secret formulas and the hands, feet, and brains that are in the buckets, do you know how to solve the puzzle? I'll give you a second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great, let's go over the answer. Well, the puzzle itself is just simply a number sequence. So there is a certain formula between each of these numbers that's going to equal this question mark. So let's take a look at the hands first. We have two, seven, three, and eight. So if we add five, we get seven. If we minus four, we get three. If we add five, we get eight. And if we minus four, we're going to get four. So the characters are going to need to take hand number four and attach it to the flesh column. Now let's take a look at the answers for the feet. Again, this is a simple number sequence. So we have three times four is 12. 12 divided by two is six. Six times four is 24. 24 divided by two is going to be 12. So the foot that is number 12 is going to be the one that needs to attach to the flesh column. And then the final sequence, we have eight. Eight times two is 16. 16 plus six is 22. 22 times two is 44. And then 44 plus six is going to be 50. So these are the three parts that we're going to need to attach to the golem. These are going to be the parts that fit it. And this brain here is going to have the four digit code in it that hopefully when this flesh golem comes alive, we'll be able to open door for the characters. And again, our timer is ticking as this entire area is being filled with a poisonous gas. So remind the players that they're starting to cough, their lungs are starting to fill, and that time is running out. Now, in order to attach these to the flesh golem, we're going to have to have the characters succeed on a DC 13 intelligence medicine check. And if they do that successfully, then they will be able to put the parts on the flesh column. However, if they fail, they're allowed three failures. And if they have three failures, our time is gonna run out and the entire party is going to become unconscious and they're going to wake up in a different room. As far as a different room is concerned, that's on another part of the dungeon in the first part of the haunt. But if you're just using this puzzle by itself, then you can put them wherever you see fit. But there is a plan if you are running the module. So escaping from this room is done in three parts. We've already completed the first two. We've identified the body parts that need sewn onto the flesh column. And we've done our medicine check and attached the foot the hand and the brain. Now behind this is a mechanism that has a crank and there's a couple of wires with it. Now, if the players can't figure out what needs to happen, then we can allow them to roll a DC 15 intelligence check and that will be Arcana. And if they succeed, then we can tell them that these wires and the nodes that are in the end of the wires are to attach to the side of the temples of the flesh column. And if they were to crank this, it would give enough electricity that it would kickstart the flesh column and bring it to life. So let's say our characters figured it out. They activate this mechanical device and we send electricity through here. Now our flesh golem is going to come to life and just in time too, because we're running out of sand in our hourglass. And once it comes to life, it's going to awaken. It's going to be sniffing the air and then it's going to move out of this mechanism. It's going to come over in this direction and it's going to be able to open the door using the four digit code. And it itself is going to walk through the door and also allow the characters to escape. 
Now with regards to the Flesh Golem, it's only going to attack them if it is attacked first. So hopefully when it comes to life, the characters just let it do its thing and it's going to be able to open the door for them. Now this encounter, as written in the Haunt Volume 1, also allows for a DC 25 Charisma check, and if that is successful, then perhaps the characters can get the Flesh Golem to become friendly with them, and perhaps even follow them around for the rest of this one-shot adventure. So this is a simple number sequence puzzle that you can give for your players to work out. Now again, we're going to allow them 20 minutes in real time, and after that, if they fail to get the correct number sequence or put the Flesh Golem together, then they're going to be knocked unconscious by the gas and we're going to move them to another room in the dungeon. Now this is a puzzle that you can find in the haunt that is a one-shot horror adventure that you can run for Halloween and it's been produced by PB Publishing. It's an adamantine bestseller on the DM Guild and it has two sequels to Haunt 1, 2, and 3. Now rather than picking up the Haunt Volume 1 so you can get the diagram of the flesh column and things of that nature, you could actually now pick up the special edition. This is a new release. This is the Haunt Trilogy, and it has all three of the one-shot adventures wrapped up in one book. Now, you can get this as a one PDF, or you can get the hardback if you like to collect books like I do. Now, as far as the special edition goes, it has all of the monster stat blocks you're going to need, all of the maps, all the appendixes, and if you get the PDF with it, you can even print and cut out little miniatures that you can use for your game. So, I would highly recommend this. This book is very well put together. It's a beautiful Beautiful book for the bookshelf. It even has a fifth edition style spine on here. And again, that is the Haunt Trilogy Special Edition. I will put links to everything in the description below. So that's all I have for you today. What did you think of the puzzle? Is this something that you could use in your game? And if so, what would you do differently? And are you familiar with the Haunt from PB Publishing? Have you played in this game or ran it before? Or is this something that you plan to do in the near future? Be sure to leave a comment below. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your responses. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.